Hi guys, this is Aprajita from Freshesworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Jobs and Careers. In the last session, we have discussed about tax. In this session, we will discuss about attributes related to tax. Attributes are basically the elements which, at, uh, which will tell you about what all contents and what all func what all things you are having and you are going to show. And uh, then, here itself, I have, I have created one... Uh, HTML page as you can see here in sublime with the basic structure of the HTML and uh, in the head itself we are having that meta tag that care set I have explained it previously also this is for character encoding this basically tells to the browser which encoding we are using and uh, our first tag which is the HTML tag it's basically it's telling here about the lang uh, which language we are using. This lang attribute will tell the browser then our content, whatever we are writing, is in which language. So here we are using English, so I have given it English. If you are having some other sections with different languages, you can give that to that particular sec section with the lang attribute. Yeah. Now we'll move on with the body and we are going to have a few more tags. Here first I'll create one paragraph tag and uh, we'll give freshers freshers world yes so if i want to give some title to it means if a user will hover on it you want to give some information about it that okay freshers world is good freshers world is this and it's a job portal so we can tell like we can uh, give a title for that job portal Now we'll see in the browser what is showing. Yes, fresh is world. And when you hover on it, it's showing job portal. Yeah, as it, as it works. So we'll move on to the next attribute that is first. But first, I will tell you about anchor tags. Anchor tags are basically the tags which will which takes you to some which creates links actually. And href is the attribute which will help you to do that because uh, there itself will pass the path for anything wherever you want to go i'm taking this image to my web page and as you can see here i've given path over here okay now we'll see in our web page how does it look before that I will get refresh it. Okay, something happened. I need to check. Okay, nothing happened. We have to give some text for that, and that's where it will come. That is office. Okay. Yeah, this is the link. When we click on the link, it's leading us to this image. Now, uh, I will tell you about some image tags as you can see we have given link and it's opening in the it's opening the link but what if we want that image to open in our web page itself for that purpose we use image tag and for that we have source attribute it will open this source itself to the same page yes As you can see here, this image is loaded in my web page. And then, I don't want this image to be shown with this much of height and width. It's so big, as we can see over here. It's so big. It's having 1920 of width and 1200 of height. In the inspect element, you can see how much it's having. As here, it's showing 1920 width and 1200 pixels of height. For that purpose, we use size attributes that is width and height. Height, yes. We've saved it, and now we can see here itself. The size got reduced. Now it's only 100 pixels. If you are having some small images also, or if and then you'll uh, 
give some bigger size like if you have 100 pixel image size width is 100 pixel and you are giving 200 then it will expand it but normally it's not it doesn't look good it's like zooming some image and uh, yes next thing i'll tell you about yeah we have two things ids and classes you can add in any tag in any division anywhere ids and classes but each and uh, each tag can have only one id but can have multiple classes in future i'll tell you more about how to use these ids and classes we can use it for styling as well as when interact for interaction also when we'll come to the other sessions of ui of javascript and all uh, but for now i just want to explain you that uh, ids and classes only this much then we can give something like class one ID something something you can give and you can see over here yeah see this ID and this class you can do anything with that if you want to make it some uh, if you want to add some styles yeah that's something yeah here i want to add some style means i don't want to look it so blurred i want it to be colored a little bit something or something you want to do so for that purpose we use style attribute i want to give it color colon some suppose i want to give it red simply just right refresh it yeah now my paragraph is red colored so like that itself if we give something it will work like that and style if you want to give any border any background color anything we use style attributes for that um, next is formatting so we can give di we can use direction attribute for that if you want your text should start from left to right right to left wherever it is you want so you can use the attribute for that i want right to left so i will give rtl it's right to left it's fine what is the problem yeah see it's working it was not refreshing properly so here we can see it now starting from right to left so it depends on you how you want to show and next and the last i'll tell you about the uh, in the attribute basic attribute section is hidden suppose you want to write some things which you don't want to show to the user but it will definitely take the space in your browser so yes hidden, hidden content we're having here hidden it's basically boolean it will take like this also we'll refresh it and we'll click on inspect element we can see inside a body this element is hidden here we have passed hidden and this content is completely hidden we can't say it's display none so yes yeah these are basically global attributes global attributes means we normally use in all the documents all the tags anywhere wherever you are using we are um, in the next sections we'll discuss about some other attributes which basically refers to a section not complete document or not all the tags so here we are done for our attribute section so please like subscribe and please if any comments let us know we'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you